Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to share with you some of my favorite places around Chicago. I was told in previous videos that I, when I speak, I kind of tend to speak with my hands and that's not something I can help. But for today's video, I'm gonna try and have them really steady and just basically speak without using them. So that's gonna be a tough one. But let's dive right in. Before I mention all my favorite spots, if you like what I'm sharing, don't forget to click subscribe, click like, click the bell notification sign, and enjoy my videos. I've been to Chicago many, many times over the years. Um, the company that I work for has an office there, so I tend to go for business meetings, for travels there a lot. The first time I went there was in February 2014 and it wasn't a good um, first impression because it was freezing, it was so cold, minus 20 degrees Celsius, the Michigan River was frozen. I did enjoy the city but not as much as I enjoyed it when I visited the second time in summer. Um, over the years I've been there several times and my last visit was this past June, June 2019. So as soon as I landed i went straight to my hotel i still stayed at the intercontinental and that's one of my favorite spots the rooms are not very spacious because it's a city hotel so not your typical u.s hotel if you disregard the rooms you're not going there to stay in your room you're going there to explore the city which is what i did this is the best place because it's located right at my second favorite location which is michigan avenue the intercontinental has great features none of which i tried because i was too busy exploring the city and you know just going out and about it was june it was summer chicago in, in summer is just amazing and lively i did like and check out the intercontinental pool which is an amazing place it's so um 1920s i felt like i was in a great gatsby movie um and another feature that i really enjoyed was the michael jordan restaurant that's right in the lobby of the hotel great steaks but i'm gonna come back to the food later on I mentioned michigan avenue the magnificent mile and it really is magnificent it's called like that for for a reason <laughs> you have so many stores so many places to eat and just you know shop such a lively atmosphere weekends are crazy every there's so many tourists around there honestly i would recommend visiting it during the week it depends on how your travel schedule is and i would definitely recommend going there during the summer because it's sunny it's lovely I just love Chicago in summer and I love Michigan Avenue for shopping. The number three location is definitely Riverwalk, the Riverwalk right on the Michigan River. Um, it's a couple of kilometers or miles long and you can just go basically walk on the river, um, enjoy food uh, in the restaurants that are on the bay, enjoy coffee places. It's an amazing place to visit. You cross the bridge right when you pass the NBC Tower, you cross the bridge. There's so many nice views in the background, the corn towers, yeah, you name it. It's amazing and um, I took some great shots there. I even saw the bridge uh, go up and down, um, many rooftops in the area as well, especially in the summer because it's such a picturesque, great skyline. So definitely worth going there if for anything else for the photos. The fourth favorite uh, location definitely has to be the Willis Tower Sky Deck. I went there the first time I was in Chicago in February, in the middle of the cold winter. Most of the view of the city was basically white, even Lake Michigan was white and frozen, but it's so worth it because basically on the uh, sky deck, the observatory, they have these little like cabins that go outside of the building. They're all glass and if you step on it, basically you can see all the way down and it's so high up. You can see the whole city, the view is amazing. It's a bit scary, but it's definitely worth it. So if you're there, definitely check out the Willis Towers Observatory deck. Number five, it's actually not a location. It's not a spot that I'm gonna mention. If you're in Chicago, one of your favorite things has to be the food. They do food on a completely next level. Honestly, I already mentioned Michael Jordan's restaurant, but there are so many restaurants and places around there for steaks. If you're a steak lover, Chicago is the best place to be. The portions are a bit big, um, but I, I have a feeling that that's the case with the, all of the United States. It's not very European in that way, because even if you order a simple salad, it's so big, <laughs> honestly, you can't finish it, so yeah. Um, apart from the steaks, Chicago is very famous for the deep dish pizza. If you thought Italians can do pizzas or New Yorkers, thin scrub, no. 
you don't know pizza until you've tried the Chicago deep dish pizza. And one of my favorite places to try it, obviously it's Giordano's, but number one has to be Rumalnati's. They have several little pizzerias and restaurants around Chicago. They even have frozen pizza if you wanna, you know, bring it home or, um, you know, make it in your oven at your own time. But it's such an amazing pizza. It's so deep, it, deep. It's filled of cheese and filled of, you know, tomato sauce and all these toppings that you can choose from. I definitely did get a heartburn after that and felt like I fell into a food coma. But it's so worth it. So if you're a foodie, definitely check Lumal Nadi's deep dish. Also, Stan's Donuts. Oh my God. Um, the first time I went to Stan's, I didn't even know what to order. They have so many choices. And I was so impressed because I found a maple bacon donut, which is like two of my favorite things together. So that was amazing. If you have a sweet tooth, that's the place to go. But I feel like Chicago does every type of food very well. Um, even Mexican, because I have a huge Mexican community. Um, also, I would say I love the sushi there. Whenever I visit the office, I ask my colleagues to take me to a Noah sushi place. It's right behind the NBC Tower. So yes, definitely one of my favorite things on the list is food. And of course, you can't go to Chicago without mentioning the famous Wrigley Field, which is a baseball stadium in the north for the Chicago Cubs. Um, I was there, a colleague of mine took me to see the game between the Chicago Cubs and New York Sox, I think. It was such an amazing atmosphere from the pre-gaming, all the food stalls, uh, all the way to the stadium itself. I'm never really a sports fan, I never really understood baseball, but it's such an amazing and electric atmosphere, just seeing, you know, all those people cheering and that all that action and actually watching the Chicago Cubs playing live. It was such an experience, honestly. Uh, for someone who doesn't really like sports, as I said, this was quite amazing because even if you're not cheering necessarily for a certain team, just being there, it's a completely different experience. Next would be the new Louis Vuitton store that just opened in June 2019. Um, it's so, it's such a masterpiece. The whole building is painted red with just the Louis Vuitton mark on it. And you can spot it from very far away. Even when you're crossing the street, you can see that kind of red, electric red cube. And it's such an amazing place. If you go inside, the interior design is out of this world. Um, so yes, you can take a great photo in front of it and do some little shopping inside of it. Um, but yeah, the next one on the list is the new Louis Vuitton store. Well, basically, when this video is uploaded, it's no longer gonna be new because it opened in June 2019. But back then when I visited, it was brand new. It's located in the west side of the Loop or River West, if I'm not explaining myself well. But I'm gonna include all the links to these places that I mentioned down in the description box. So if you're planning on um, visiting them, if you're traveling to Chicago, you know where to go. And then, of course, you can't talk about Chicago without mentioning the wonderful rooftops. I feel like summer is when the city comes alive and it has so many rooftops. Literally every building has a separate restaurant or bar with amazing views and that's one of my favorite things to do. The one that I really liked uh, was the ABBA restaurant, again in Westlake. Yeah, Westlake. Um, so it was it's such an amazing atmosphere inside apart from the actual views of the chicago skyline the whole abba restaurant uh, and bar is decorated with these vines and trees it's very lively inside great decor great vibe great atmosphere the second rooftop that i really like that i just visited in june is the cabra bar on the top of the hoxton hotel again in the west um, west lake district or area um, the Hoxton Hotel basically has even has a pool right next to the bar and the restaurant so if you're not interested in eating you can just go outside and enjoy a cocktail by the pool while enjoying Chicago's amazing views so yes if you're there definitely spend some time rooftoping because it's really a stunning view and a stunning thing to do with your group of friends um, that's it for my Chicago top list. Hopefully you enjoyed what I shared with you. Uh, obviously there's so many 
amazing landmarks and places that I didn't mention. This was already kind of my list of what I saw and what left an impression of me. I tried to include fashionable places like the Louis Vuitton store, I tried to include food tips and also some landmarks so that wherever your interests are, you find a bit of everything in this video. And yes, hopefully you liked it and I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. My uploading schedule is every Sunday and every Thursday so you know when to expect a video from me. And yes, thank you so much for watching.